what is required for innovation in this movie i'm going to give you five clear actions how to become a truly innovative organization and watch till the end because i'm going to give you as a bonus a proven methodology for your innovation journeys let's start straight away here's a simple definition of innovation innovation is doing new things or doing things in a new way it is transforming ideas into reality now McKinsey research shows that only 6% of the executives are satisfied with the innovation outcomes. So the real question is, what is required to deliver innovation results? As organization, you need these five actions to deliver innovation results. Move beyond your comfort zone. Pick the right moment. Make a concrete challenge. Give the freedom to explore and give the freedom to fail. Move beyond your comfort zone. In organizations, we have a wonderful world for being stuck in your habits. It's called operational excellence. Mm -hmm. And that's our comfort zone. Better and better and better and better. But that won't work when you want to be innovative. When you want to be innovative, you have to go outside your comfort zone. You have to break with your habits because what will lead to profits tomorrow is not operational excellence. It will be innovation excellence. Pick the right moment. There are two drivers for innovation. It is ambition or pain. I have identified two speed spots connect to these drivers. The first is the moment you want to innovate out of ambition with great leadership support. And the other one is the moment you have to innovate because revenues and profits are going down. Be sure to pick one of those two moments to start to innovate. You need freedom to explore. Innovation comes from making new combinations. And for new combinations, you have to expand your horizon. Go out and explore. Explore new trends, new technologies, new customer segments. And with an open mindset, being in the learning mode, people will return inspired. You also need a concrete challenge. When you give people the freedom to explore, where will they go? You need to give them some direction. So before the start, make an innovation assignment and write down for yourself. Why do I innovate? What am I looking for? Where? When does it need to hit the market? For which target groups and which criteria I use? to assess those new innovations. When you give them a concrete innovation assignment, you give them both freedom and direction. You also need freedom to fail. Innovation is a risky business. Nobody knows for sure what will be a success or not. You have to find out in practice by developing and experimenting. And when it doesn't get good results, you pivot the idea and you try to make something better. That's how you learn. And of course, some business cases will fail. But failing is learning because fail stands for your first attempt in learning. I promise you as a bonus an innovation methodology which will help you on your innovation journey. Here, this is the fourth innovation methodology. It combines business thinking with design thinking in a structured way. Normally only one out of three innovations hit the market. With this methodology, three out of four innovations hit the market. So when you want to know more, watch this movie here on the fourth innovation methodology. If you like this movie, please do a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to have more innovation movies. 
My name is Gijs van Wulven, talking to you from beautiful Crete. Let's innovate and stay safe.